Let me give you a short introduction to the flows in the warehouse mobile. On my screen now I have a rather high resolution, therefore the tiles are small. If you're using a smaller resolution or a scanner, the tiles will be bigger, of course, in the warehouse mobile. The structure in the flows will be starting with the inbound handling in the warehouse, where you have the activities for receiving items, the outbound handling in the warehouse, and then we have activities around warehouse bins, meaning if you're using bin in your location setup, we will have activities that relate to bins and warehouse entries, so to say. And we have activities with items and with physical inventory countings. And then we do have some additional flows. Let me just run through those briefly. So if you select the warehouse receipt, for example, and just enter an item number, it will automatically find the warehouse receipt number here. So this is just grabbing a warehouse receipt document and then filtering in the line with item number, quantity to receive, etc. So the inbound flow will be a warehouse received and after that a put away document you can register and post. On the outbound side you have a pick document, a warehouse shipment document and you can see the sales order list if you're looking for a specific sales order. Those actions up here will change if you change the location. I'll just get back to that. If you have a location set up with using bins, you can find item, meaning look for an item. Where is it on the inventory? So if you enter the item number, it will show you the bin content. Or the other hand, you could show the bin content by, by asking what is on this specific bin. It will show you the items. You can move all on a bin, so you can move a, a bin completely to another bin. For instance, if you move a pallet with many things on it, you can do an ad hoc bin move where you just move one item in a specific quantity from one bin to another. And in the warehouse item menus, you can show item picture. If you want to see what does an item look like, you can add pictures to items. So you can take a picture on the item and add it to the uh, item card if there's no picture. You can create an item reference, meaning if you have a barcode that doesn't exist, you can scan the barcode and add the barcode to the item card with this functionality. And in the physical inventory, you have the ability to adjust inventory directly, reset quantity to count. If you're starting a counting job and you want to reset the quantity, you can do the counting, post the count and register the counting. You can use the physical inventory orders where you create a physical inventory order to make a guided counting, or you can make an ad hoc bin count so you can count a bin specifically. And in the end, you can change the user location set setup. So right now I'm working on a location which is a warehouse location with the full WMS functionality. Look at the tiles up here. If I'm changing my location in here, for instance, to a basic location, it will both remove all the bin functionality in the middle. As you can see here, all the bin thing is gone because I'm not using bin on this location and I can now receive directly on purchase order so my inbound menu is only one tile and ship from sales order which is also only two tiles here. So these are the basic actions you can do in the warehouse mobile.